Kathleen Clark toxic cultists are ruining things for the WNBA long time fans. If there has been a downside to the WNBA influx of new fans, it's a phenomenon best described as Kathleen Clark derangement syndrome and it needs to stop. Aliyah Boston was looking forward to her second professional season. The 2023 WNBA Rookie of the Year was coming off a successful debut as a television analyst for ESPN at the NCAA Women's Final Four in April. One made even sweeter by seeing her beloved alma mater South Carolina win the national championship after an undefeated season. The delightful approbation given to Boston from her college and national team head coach Don Staley show how beloved to both are within the basketball. And after witnessing the game, Cox cut down the nets by getting revenge on Katrin Clark Lowa, the team who had ended her collegiate career a year before Boston knew she did soon be playing alongside Clark. With her WNBA team, Daniana Fever set to take the 22-year-old with the number one overall pick in the upcoming draft. Fast forward to now, Clark and Boston are indeed teammates, but the Fever started their season with five straight losses, but before Friday narrow win over the Los Angeles Park raised the team's spirits a little. But an even more important and fortunate storyline has emerged around the team. Um, before the Fever's second regular season game against the Connecticut Sun that Boston said she has deleted X from her phone and that TikTok is the only social media platform she feels safe to own. And the reason is disturbing. Toxic backlash she and over the WNBA players over the, uh, have received from the Clark Wild fans. Before we start, it is important to note that this is not Clark's fault. And she has not done anything to encourage the views of, 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 her, yellow, of her fellow players. There is much to celebrate about Clark Nassit's superstardom and arrival in the world woman, world best woman basketball league. Her historic impact on the college uh, game, which led to the highest TV rating in the NCAA women's tournament, has has ever had appeared to be carrying over to the WNBA. Attendance and TV audience number of Clark preseason and regular season debut with the fever reached zenith for the 28 years old league. Although its players had long fought for charter flights in their collective bargaining agreement talks, Clark being at the center of W News found popularity has undeniably helped ushers in that long awaited change. Clark's shoe deal with Nike may have led to the best player in the league, Aja Wilson finally getting her own signature shoe. So Clark has been a good thing for the league and women basketball as a whole. So some of hardcore fans, not so much. Some of the tension originated from the matchup between Clark and Angel Reese in 2023 NCAA title game. Reese's boisterous personality was attacked by Clark fans at the same time they praised their own heroine competitiveness. So guys, this is all this video. I hope you guys really like it. Kindly do subscribe. Thank you.